Congratulations for Susumi. Thank you so much. I'm really I mean, excited. This is a major part it's for you. It's a huge role. It's a huge role. So, yeah. so tell us what, what, how you were brought on board to this project. Um, I, I got an audition just like uh, any other audition, but um, they actually gave me a couple of clips from the movie to uh, to be able to kind of base my performance off of. And, uh, and yeah, so I, I recorded my audition at home. I sent it in. Uh, I hoped for the best because... Um, I haven't done a lot of anime. I've done a lot of voiceover. I've done on-camera acting, but anime is something that I just haven't done a lot of. And I was instantly invested in the story. Mm -hmm. As soon as I saw, wait, I'm, I'm going to be a chair? And I had to know more about this chair. And I had to know more about how he became a chair and like why he became a chair. Um, the animation was gorgeous, so I, I really had my fingers crossed after I sent it in. But I had a good feeling about it. Like I, I felt like... You know, I, I, I did a good job on that audition. I'm keep my fingers crossed and, uh, you know, got the call that I was going to be Soda, and I was so, very excited. So, so tell us, what is the real difference between regular voice acting and anime voice acting to you? Uh, well, I mean, there's there's the big technical part of it in yeah. terms of uh, with, with um, Western animation, um, you're usually recording it ahead of time. So you're yeah. recording your performance, and then they animate to your performance. Whereas with anime, you're always recording to something that's already been recorded and animated to in another language. So you you kind of want to honor the original performances. So you can kind of put a little bit of your own stamp on it, but you don't really want to change too much from the original intention. So you really want to be true to what the original actors did. Um, you also have to match lip flap, which is not something that you ever have to do in um, in Western animation yeah. or, or stuff that, that you're doing before it's been animated. Um, but you do have to do it here. So there's that technical part. I was a chair for a good part of the movie, and chairs don't have lips. So there was a lot of the movie that I didn't have to match voice flap or lip flap. Um, a lot of my castmates were a bit jealous of that because it's a bit easier. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's I'd, I'd say that's that's the main difference is is being kind of locked into the original timing and having to really kind of honor the original performances. Did it take long to come up with that voice? Not really. Not really, it because uh, again, like I did have the guide of the original, and I didn't want to stray too far from yeah. it. So it was really just kind of finding where my voice made sense with that character. Most excellent. Before I let you go, what do you love about voice acting? I love the fact that I'm not constrained to my physical type. Um, I came from on camera, and with on camera, it's like they look at you, and and you'll get you'll get basically pigeonholed a certain way, and those are the only kind of parts you're ever going to play. Um, whereas with voice acting, if you can do the voice, you can be the character. And it doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what the character looks like, it doesn't matter if you look nothing like the character, if you can sound like the character, you can play the part. And I find that incredibly freeing. Most excellent. Well, can't wait to, uh, to see you as the chair going through doors or whatever it is. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see it myself. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank you.